So I get it. You need shipping containers. You need shipping containers to create your dystopian future setting. Your story is set in a distant future where an alien race has taken all the world's electricity and people are living in shipping containers hanging on balloons in the sky. There are mutated alien zombie pirates stealing your balloons because the helium in it is some sort of drug to them. It's water world, but set in the sky. It's gonna be huge. Nicolas Cage will be in it, playing the villain. And there's some upcoming star like Jesse Buckley. Anyway, for now, you don't have any shipping containers. So why not build them? Open up Blender, scale your default cube to 244 in height, 235 in width, and 600 in length. Done. We only have to give it a texture. For this project I created my own textures in Photoshop. I would suggest you do the same or go to the download link in the description. It is pretty self explanatory. Explanatory? Exp ex Self-explanatory. Self-explanatory. I think it's better to create it yourself. The first layer is just the color. Then I made a normal map. Let's call that free geometry. And I made an extra color layer for the door handle. I'll explain later. And I made also an extra layer for, for some rust. Okay, let's go back to Blender. And I forgot to save it, so I have to do this again. All right, let's start with the first layer and the color. So um, before we do that, let's apply the scale. So everything is one, one, one here. Yeah, we have to go to the shading tab. There we can see it already has a material. Call that container. Um, well, we made image textures, or at least I made image textures, and I'm going to add them. Add texture image texture and we're going to duplicate this one because we need a second one later on first we're going to open image texture that's this one open image we connect the color to the base color and when we go to rendered view it looks horrible i know um how are we going to fix this obviously we have to go to the uv editing we have to tell Blender which part of our image texture uh, has to go where on our uh, geometry. So we're still in edit mode and I'm going to click 3 for selecting faces. Go to the rendered shading viewport to see what you're doing. Select one face and then you can edit uh, this rectangle by A, select all the vertices. Drag it to the middle, scale it up. You can do that on the Y axis, like this. Scale it up on the X axis, like this. And of course you want to do this very, 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 very precisely. And what happens? It looks terrible because it has turned. So you have to rotate it scale it a bit down and you can use all the same shortcuts when you're modeling so the S is for scale the G is for moving you can use the Y for the Y axis and the X for the X axis you can click R for rotate and control to snap it on the grid and sometimes this is pretty tedious, but I think it always pays off. It's um, actually very, you know, quick way to create some realism by just using uh, photographs as texture. So now you have this, this is a container. You can now all smash the like button. Looking pretty good, but it's also looking pretty flat. Let's go back to the shading tab and uh, put it on the render viewport so we can see what we're doing. Um, we are adding another image texture and this time it's going to be the normal map. Open normal map and you would think you could connect the color to the normal map like this. 
but you can't. Well, you can, but you get these uh, artifacts. So what you want to do is you want to add a vector normal map. Put that in between. Looks a lot better. And then you want to change this sRGB to non-color. Perfect. But it's a white container and I want to, to give it some color. So I'm going to add color. And... I'm going to add a mix RGB here because we're going to mix the image texture this one with let's let's move this down here we're going to mix that with the U uh, saturation gonna change this mix to multiply and it looks a lot better Actually, I'm going to go to uh, the material preview so we can really see what we're doing. Now we have an orange container and these uh, lines of the, the original uh, JPEGs are still intact. Except for these, these bars here of the door, the door handles. And that is why I made another image texture, especially for those details. So Shift D, open that image texture we also need to mix that in so we are going to create another uh, mixer and um, let's see what are we going to mix we're going to mix this with that so take this out put that in here put that in here and put that in here what does that do give some horrific uh, effect yeah all right put that on 0.5 so now we have a perfect mixture between uh, the orange color and this uh, uh, this other image texture and this image texture so it looks pretty good so now I want to add some uh, rust because it's look it looks very clean and it has two doors it's a fantasy container so we're going to add another image texture for rust where is it here okay and let's also add a texture coordinate here and another mixer so what are we going to mix we're going to mix the rust with the orange color and something like this now we're going to put this on darken here we have it an orange container with some detail and some dirt 